Hey everyone, okay, we're going through the process of moving a WordPress site from one server to another. So we've already downloaded all the WordPress files and database information from the old server, and we prepared the new server for, for the installation of WordPress and the upload of the existing files, and we created the database. Now, now what I want to do is import the data from the previous server, the data we exported from step one, we'll import that now into the empty database. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So the first thing we want to do is click on PHP by admin. So that'll open up in a new window. Then we're going to choose the empty database that we created. Mind you, I'm working with the same server, but of course you're going to be working with two different servers and in all likelihood you're going to be working with PHP my admin on both of them. So now the next step, this is an empty database clearly, there's no tables found. So we're going to click on import, we're going to choose a file, and choose the SQL file that we created before. Click open, and then click go at the bottom. Then the import finished successfully. So now all your WordPress files are I mean, all the WordPress content is in the database here. So that's it for that step. Now we're going to edit the config file. So to do to edit the config file, all we do is open the f um, folder where we downloaded the files to in a previous step. And within there, there's a file called wp-config.php. So we're going to open that and locate the sections that say DB name so then when we created the empty database um, in an earlier step this is the name that we used now remember this is the prefix that was put on so the actual name is test but we need to include our prefix um, when we're working with shared hosting and the same with the username so this is the database name here this is the username I just happen to use the same name and then the password that we used during the creation and if you're working with HostGator and probably I'd say 90% of other hosts this is going to be localhost GoDaddy it's going to be different you're going to have to check on the server there to find out what that is but in all likelihood it's going to be localhost so that's it so we've configured the config file we've got to make sure we save it and then the next step is uploading the files so I'm just going to pause this really quick and get that prepared Okay, so again, we're going to use FTP software um, from, to transfer the files from my local machine to the server. However, um, sometimes it's better to use the, the built-in file manager for cPanel. It's definitely easier. And what you could do is um, compress the files into a zip file, upload them, and decompress them. And the decompression has to be done on the server level up to you. Um, I'm just going to take the time and upload every single file one by one through FTP, um, but all, all in one batch. So what I do is when I open the FTP software and connect to the server, I locate the, f the folder where all the local files are. So then what happens is when you open that folder, it shows you all the files. So right in here is all the files that are on the local, the local computer. And then on the right side shows what's on the server. So the domain we created when we did the, the add-on domain procedure, it created a folder called domain.com. So that should be empty. That's going to have a CGI bin folder. And so now what we want to do is upload all our WordPress, WordPress files there. So from the left side, we'll highlight that, press control A, right click, and then click upload. And that's it. Once all those files are uploaded, you're going to want to, um, the next step, and I'll put that in a separate video, is to change the name servers for the domain name. And then everything should be set up correctly at that point. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video.